Once again, it's Mali MTAK Black Kazio making another video. I just made a video about an hour ago. I uploaded to YouTube and a lot of people were asking me, saying that we got errors um, on the server, mostly um, error connecting to server, or um, the client doesn't load up at all, just gets stuck, it cannot, you know, proceed through, or etc. etc. Well, there's uh, always two two ways um, to into doing this. All right. I mean, when the client says error connecting to server, it could mean that you have not put the cache in the right place. Once again, I'll be showing you guys where to put the cache just in case. So you go to my computer, right? Start menu, my computer. Doesn't matter, guys. Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows XP. Everything's the same. I'm telling you how to do it. So follow my steps properly, and I assure you that it will work 100%. So what you want to do. Is you want to hit the start menu first thing when you hit the start menu go to my computer open up drive C once you come to my computer open up this drive C drive C here see all these caches these are all cache you drop the cache here you need to put the cache here after putting the cache here the RSPS cache whatever cache you're using you might want to go scroll down until you find something called users right here users okay users you open users and then you go to your main username that's my main username so you go to your main username and you see these are all caches again and you also put the cache here just in case so you'll be safe so that's where you put the cache I'm not gonna make a video about this again so please guys just follow it because there's a lot of videos about cache and it's pretty simple so in C drive and C users okay that's it now now, for as for the error connected server, that could be one of the issues that, that would solve it, the cache, or what you want to do is you want to open your folder, your RSPS folder, and you got a source, which is source server or base, whatever you call it, and then you got a client slash um, jar, or whatever you want to call it yourself, a batch file, batch file. So what you want to do is you want to open the run. Fix, first, what you want to do is actually fix the run that bat. You have to fix it. And when people say you have to like change your JDK version blah 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 I don't know what 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 it doesn't mean that like you have to like delete the batch or make a new one no like simply like if you if you get an error like this hold on let me show you right now if you get an error like this for example the path not specified path not specified path not specified Path not specified, path not specified. When it says the path is not specified, it means you need to change the JDK version. What you need to do is you're gonna need to locate the JDK. So what you're gonna do again is go to my computer. The JDK is usually installed in C drive, depending on if your computer is a 34, 32 bit or a 64 bit, x86 or x64. Usually it's in program files or program files 86. It's either one of these two. That's where Java goes when you install it. So let's just check out the program files, not the program files 86, just the normal program files here. Java. This is where my Java is, and you take the model number. So my Java is. You go to latest latest one. So my Java is 1.7.0 underscore 21. So what you want to do is you want to take that right here. So my my Java is not in x86, right? It's not. So you want to backspace that, and you just want to type program files. And then you want to go to Java, and then you want to go to JDK. 1.7.0 like we did underscore 21 that's it save close the program files open the run that back and wait for it to load starting up unpacking there you go there you go clients ready clients ready and if you get an error like this after putting the cache in after putting the cache in the right place after um, changing your JDK version on the batch file and also you need to do you need to change your JDK version here on the run that batch and in the compiled that batch in the compiled that batch too actually thank uh, good thing I just remember that tell you guys so you guys will know this so you gotta change it here too and this is only the client, right? So we're in the client side, but you're gonna have to go to the server source base side and also check the run that bat. And also, I mean, I changed these already. We need to change it again and again. Just double check to see if you changed it properly. See, I'm not, I've changed mine. So 
and the client is not changed what you want to do when you change the client you just compile it well, just what I compile it takes about a couple of minutes for depending on how slow your computer is you could take uh, anywhere up from 20 seconds to uh, one minute one minute uh, to one minute like at most so what you can do now is when you if you run the client and you get an error like this hold on error connecting server error connecting server error connecting. after you put the cache in the right place if, if you still get this error that means that either your server is not running so guys listen hear me out carefully after putting the cache in the right place changing the JDK versions on your compile and run in both client and source folder and it still says air connecting server it could be two more things that means either you're not running the server because look if I run the server right now I'm gonna run the source right now look come on okay let me server listening on port okay this is online okay now I'm gonna press login see it worked because I didn't before I wasn't running the source now I'm running the source so it's actually working you see so it's working so what you want to do so what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna log out again I want to show you another way so I'm gonna close the source right so if you come in here and if you want to play in the it says air connected server and you and you are and you have put the cache in the right place you have changed the JDK versions you are running the server and if it's still after all these things if it still says air connected server there could be one last solution actually two last solution make sure you do not have uTorrent application uTorrent installed on your computer or Hamachi that will mess up everything and the last option is to go check to go to your uh, client folder Search up client.java. Want to open up client.java? Hold on, guys. Let me make this small so I can fit it in the page so you all can see. One second. Sorry about that. Let me get the name there. Um, one second. I'm trying to fit it in here. Ah, oh, man, it's not working. There we go. So this is the client that Java. You search up in the client folder. You search up client that Java. Right? You just type client, C L I N T that Java, and then open up with open it with a notepad or whatever that you want. And then what you want to do here is type um, control F. Don't type it there. Don't type it there. Do not type it here. No, no, no. I was not saying type it here. I was saying on your keyboard like control F like this. Control F. What you want to do is you want to look for for 317 source usually I mean client usually uh, type S-E-R-V-E-R -E space equals this is to how to find the IP address on the client and remember IP addresses IP addresses only change in client not the source so don't try to change any IPs in the source because there is no see this is 127.0.0.1 you know what that means 127.0.0.1 means that it is locked on a local host IP which only you can access it without internet but if you want others to access it, you have to put your IP here. How do you find your IP? Very simple. This is very simple. And I mean it, guys. I mean, very, very simple. So please, like, go to HTTP. Why am I saying HTTP? Just stop. Go to canyouseeme.org. Just like, just like this on that. Canyouseeme.org. This will show you your IP. That's it. Or, what is my? IP.com. So what you can do is find out your uh, online IP, your internet IP, and you want to post it there. That's what you want to do. You're gonna have to post it here, right? So, mine is one two seven zero one. Yours could be. Um, 67.82 you know you never know but this is what it would look like this is what it looks like so I'm gonna put mine back to 127 and guys remember there's two IPs to change here so once you type the control F thing to, to for the find tab board to come up type again server space equals so there's another one too right 
you should be, remember this there's one here always and the next one is here there's two always two then you want to save it and come back out want to save that and come back out and then come back to the main uh, f uh, main folder and then compile it well we have to close the close the client and then compile the client and then while you're waiting for the client to compile, once the client's done compiling, go to the server or source space folder, whatever you guys call it. Compile it in there too. So you want to compile it in here too. Just in case you gotta compile. Okay, there we go. So now what you want to do is double click run the source. Wait for it to load. Wait for it. Okay, here we go. Then you might want to go to your client folder again and run the bat. Run the bat. Press play. Enter enter your um, desired username and password. And one two three for the pass. Let's log in. So there we go. That's it. You officially have fixed the error. That's how you do it. Those are the only ways that can be possible to do it. So guys, remember, listen carefully, please. If you feel like you need more help, tips, tutorials, please. At any time, feel free to. Uh, inbox me or email me at my email or inbox me once again guys this is Molly MT Black as yo uh, thanks for watching I hope you guys like it please like subscribe the video thank you so much and seeing you guys soon thanks